cult club rejected after concerns that it may summon Satan at university. On May hey, 25th, literally, thank you, please. I didn't even know this is going to be satanic, but yeah, go on. On May 25th, an Australian, universe, an Australian college rejected the full registration of the Adelaide University Occult Club, um, or AUOC, a student organization made by and for students who practice Satanism, paganism, and witchcraft. Ashley Towner, the AUOC president, told ABC Australia that the rejection came from one complaint that claimed that their club wanted to summon Satan to the university and that, quote, occultists are always involved in criminal activity. Quote, even if we did want to summon Satan, it's not against university or union policy to do so, so it's still not really grounds to reject us, Towner said. <laughs> I have to read that again. That made me laugh so hard earlier today. Even if we did want to summon Satan, it's not against university or union policy to do so. So it's really not grounds to reject us. Yeah, like show us where it says we can't summon Satan. <laughs> where is that in the guideline? <laughs> <laughs> The club was formed in the latter half of 2020 and provisionally registered with the Adelaide University Union in early 2021. Registration is vital as it allows for funding and access to space and equipment at the university. The club is now unaffiliated and not allowed on university grounds. The AUU president, Oscar Ong, insisted that the application had not been rejected but tabled for a later discussion, which in his words was standard procedure. As of now, AUU has six Christian clubs, one Muslim club, and one secular club. They're all registered. Okay, what kind of university bans something like this? Is this like a Christian university or something like that? Um, let me double check really quickly. Uh, also, how dare you? How dare you? You goddamn hypocrites. You this is a university, okay? You're talking we're talking about Satan here. You owe him for all the knowledge that you have every university is satanic church by default this is his third territory like you have to you have to you should have a temple in every university dedicated to this to satan who was the person responsible for giving humans the apple the fruit of knowledge the fruit of knowledge everybody it was God who wanted you to be dumb, blind, and deaf. It was Satan who introduced you to knowledge. Like, I think, like, this should be mandatory for every university to have a temple dedicated to Satan. With the, with, with like, it needs to, there needs to be a statue of him, um, you know, with the apple. For, like, everybody could, you know, get on their knees and, like, receive the apple from Satan. It's a university. It's where you go to gain you knowledge. You have a point. Yeah, I mean, every university is a de facto church to Satan, whether you want it or not. They were these people were just. Let me tell you, the religious conservatives would have you believe that as well. They push that narrative the hardest. Yeah, they're right. I agree with them. <laughs> <laughs> people, hail oh, yeah. Satan's university. Puya say no, it's not a Christian university. I looked it up, and it appears to be a public hell? university. Okay, isn't this a form of religious discrimination? Um, Miss Show is pointing this out. Potentially, potentially, the 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 you know the union for the university is saying, "Oh no, no, it wasn't outright rejected. It was tabled. We we might you know re reconsider. We might you know talk about this again later. We'll see. I don't know how much of that is just whatever they're saying to the press." Um, Okay, Prometheus is here saying it was me, Armin. Don't give credit to Satan only. Prometheus, you're a prototype of Satan, okay? Why do you think your stories are so similar? Hey, Steve. okay, if he's the prototype of Satan, that means he's the OG. So you need to put some respect on his name and address him okay. more respectfully. Yeah. Come on, Norman. Okay, fine, fine. Thank you, Prometheus, for the fire. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Prometheus, Prometheus has like suffered a lot more for, for like... What did Satan? What did Satan get? He had to crawl in his belly. He got banished and from he, Eden. Yeah, and also crawl in he, his belly. If if you yeah. accept the Christian narrative that the the snake was Satan, okay. But Prometheus had to, like, his he had to watch his liver being eaten, 
over and delivered. Over and over again. He was delivered, delivered every single yeah. day. Thank you for your sacrifice, Prometheus. Prometheus and, actually oh, is one of the best. Yeah, he is. he is. Like actually, when it comes to all the sacrifices, we have three major sacrifices. Okay, Jesus, Odin, and Prometheus. The greatest sacrifice in mythology is Prometheus. Okay, Jesus was like, I I get I stay here in an afternoon. And then I'm going to be king in heaven. Okay, one afternoon, one afternoon of torture for being king in heaven. Not that big of a sacrifice, okay? Odin sacrificed himself for his own gain. I mean, it's admirable that he did that to gain knowledge, okay? But he was directly, he, he did it for himself. He was benefiting for himself, okay? Prometheus, knowingly, knowingly that he's going to be tortured, potentially forever i mean hercules uh, saved them but for a very long time no like not just one afternoon like jesus being tortured over and over and over again for years knowing we went and stole the fire for us human beings he basically gave us a the gift of by the way fire it wasn't just fire it was the gift of technology fire represents technology like it was the thing that made everything run okay so anyway thank you thank you prometheus that's the message here um, <laughs> Forever Stormy is saying Armin coming out as a Satanist tonight. We thought he was a Takiya Muslim, but he was a Satanist all along, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and second like is saying, hey, at, at least Prometheus actually showed up in the chat better than Allah's lazy ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, Allah's daughters sometimes show up here. True. True, yeah. true, true. Allah's Akbar. Um, yeah, so I just thought that was amusing. All right. So, <laughs> and remember, guys, remember, it's not against university policy to summon Satan. <laughs> hey, guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.